Welcome to Engineer Clinic. Today we are going to see how to install NS3 in Windows 11 with Windows Subsystem for Linux. In case if you want to see how to install WSL for Windows, you can see my previous video. I give the video link below in the description window. So first whenever uh, you want to install, open the command prompt and simply type the command WSL. So WSL means Windows Subsystem for Linux. WSL. So once you do that, we will be getting a prompt like this. So this is the Linux prompt. Put CD and press enter. Then first you do sudo apt update. Give the password. And uh, some packages have been installed. Now we will download NS3. Uh, NS3.43 from the nsnam.org website. I will give the direct link to download. So you can use wget c. So this is a terminal downloader. Directly you can download it. Now this is what has been downloaded to your uh, home folder directly. So since uh, Windows uses a uh, terminal mode for Linux, you can uh, directly give this command to download the uh, complete software. So now the complete software has been downloaded. Yes, so downloads over. Now next thing is uh, we need to install some prerequisites. So these are the prerequisite packages. So uh, there is a complete list of packages which is there for available for download. So you can copy and then paste this directly to download it. So these are all the prerequisites for uh, installing this NS3. Because NS3 based on uh, many dependencies. So all these dependencies we are going to install it. So I have given a complete list so that you can download completely. So just copy this. This also I will give the descriptive window uh, below. You can now copy and then paste it. Now open the terminal and just paste it. So this might take some time because it will install around 19 MB of uh, software to be downloaded. So it may take some time. So since for the shorter uh, videos, I just uh, uh, stopped the video in between. And uh, so this is how the way it get installed. And uh, this is uh, put yes for this uh, window. And after it is done, the NS3 software, you, when you want to extract, if it is a GUI, you can double click and then extract that file. But since we are using a terminal, so we have a command for tar commander. So tar jxvf ns all in one hyphen 3.43.tar.bz2. So just to copy this line and then uh, so now you can just copy this. Now this installation over here, I mean the packages, the dependencies got over here. So now just uh, copy this tar jxvf this command, you can copy this and just paste it here and that's all so it is been unzipped or simply we call that uh, decompressed so once it is decompressed you can go into the folder cdns all in one 3.43 so once it is done you can give this command and dot slash build dot py space double hyphen enable hyphen example space double hyphen enable hyphen test so once you are doing that uh, this installation process also might take some time so for me it took uh, nearly around uh, half an hour uh, so because it will be down installing 1946 packages so it takes uh, uh, around 30 minutes because i am using a wsl which is installed inside windows so it is also working like a virtual machine so that's how uh, it takes some time now afterwards yes this is what uh, the software get installed so once it is installed then we can check whether ns3 got installed or not so the command here is first you have to go cd ns-3.43 then you can type this command dot slash ns3 space run space hello hyphen simulator so this is the first one to check whether it installed or not so once it is done you will get the hello simulator as an output you can see that hello simulator so now this indicates that ns3 was installed successfully and we can try out some networking uh, example uh, run first and run second so these two examples that also works pretty much fine so now we can start working on uh, ns3 in windows itself so many people are uh, struggling to use uh, ubuntu or they use uh, virtual machine like uh, vmware for ubuntu but this method is very easy to handle it so that uh, you all can install ns3 successfully in windows 11 so thanks for watching my video uh, please subscribe to my channel and please uh, share this video to all your friends, students, scholars who are doing research in Network Simulator 3. So they can watch many of the videos I already uh, put in my channel. 
related to network simulations so thank you thank you for watching my video thank you very much